When it comes to weight loss surgery, the masses are definitely split in their opinions. You've got one side that knows it's a tool and a treatment for obesity, and then the other side that thinks it's cheating and the easy way out. In this video, I am going to talk about three things that weight loss surgery does not do for you in hopes that I can sway people's opinions, especially those who fall into the cheating easy way out camp, even just a little tiny bit. Because even with bariatric surgery, it takes a lot of hard work to totally change your lifestyle. Welcome to my channel. My name is Sarah and I have been sharing my weight loss journey here on YouTube since April of 2020. Before I had my vertical sleeve gastrectomy, I lost 30 pounds over the course of two years. After my bariatric surgery, I've lost about 95 pounds, bringing my total weight loss to 125 pounds. I'm just shy of being two years post-op and I'm now in weight maintenance and I'm working on building muscle. I continue to share the ups and downs of my journey and the things I've learned along the way. So if that sounds like it'd be valuable to you, I would love it if you went ahead and hit that subscribe button. It really does help my channel a lot and it helps me connect with you so I can deliver you information that's relevant in your weight loss journey, whether it's bariatric or not. I also want to give a big thank you to all of my returning subscribers. I appreciate you so, so, so much. Thing that I want to clarify when it comes to bariatric surgery being the easy way out is that bariatric surgery alone does not make an impact into the food choices that you make. Once you're past the first six months of bariatric surgery, you can pretty much eat whatever you want. The only thing that really changes is the volume of the food. In my opinion, the entire point of bariatric surgery is to help you relearn how to eat properly for the rest of your life, which requires discipline, control, and intention. Three things that just having a smaller stomach doesn't do for you. If you're like me, Prior to having bariatric surgery, you were probably accustomed to a cycle of crash dieting, which actually makes it even harder to transition into a healthy, sustainable way of eating. Weight loss surgery just doesn't change how you think about food by itself. You still have to put in a lot of the mental work in healing the way that you look at food and consume food. Speaking of the way that you think about food, another thing that bariatric surgery cannot do for you is change the way that you think about weight loss as a whole. You have to do the work to change that and it is really hard work. It's very, very easy to stay in the toxic mindset of obsessing over the scale and fixating on crash diets or these pouch resets. It's just extremely, extremely difficult and challenging to change your mindset about literally anything. So naturally, if you constantly thought about weight loss for the past five, 10, 15, 20, however many years, it's going to be really, really difficult to overcome those preconceived notions about how you approach weight loss. There's also the added challenge of your mind catching up with your body, which is something I personally struggled with a lot for a long time. You have to be able to catch up to what you're physically capable of doing, what you're mentally capable of doing, and then obviously the amount and the priority of the food that you eat. It's a lot. There's really so much mental work that is required after having a bariatric surgical procedure. And I don't think enough people talk about how much and how hard it really is. And just having a smaller stomach can't change your brain. You have to actively work on that.
And the third thing that I wanna talk about that bariatric surgery cannot and will not do for you is make the choice of whether you get up and exercise and get your butt in the gym or outdoors or however it is that you exercise. You have to make that choice. Intentional exercise is always a decision. It's a choice that you make and you just can't make that choice simply by having a smaller stomach. And truth be told, not everyone who has bariatric surgery chooses to exercise beyond, you know, maybe walking and that's okay. And to be frank, it took me a long time to get to that point where I wanted to be in the gym and I wanted to be exercising and I wanted to be challenging myself physically. Again, in my experience, I have to choose whether or not I get up and do that intentional exercise. That has absolutely nothing to do with the size of my stomach. So while it may appear from the outside like, oh, she had weight loss surgery and now she's so active and so fit. It's me making the choice to exercise, not my stomach. The only thing that my stomach can control is the volume of food that I'm able to eat in a single sitting. I would love to hear your opinions on these three things. And if you're a bariatric patient, share what's been the hardest challenge to overcome in your bariatric surgery journey. And if you're not a bariatric patient, then go ahead and weigh in yourself. I wanna hear your opinion down below. Do you think that weight loss surgery is the easy way out? Or have I convinced you that maybe there's a little bit more that goes into it than just a major surgical procedure as it may be? On your way down to the comments, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. It really does help the video a lot and I appreciate your support of my channel. I hope you enjoyed this video. I thank you for watching it and I hope you have an amazing, amazing day. Bye.